Hey everyone, did you know that you can play Nintendo DS games using an emulator called Melon DS? So in this video today, what I'm going to do is to show you how to install Melon DS on an Apple Silicon Mac. So as any Mac that runs on an M1, M2 or M3 chip or any future Apple Silicon chip is going to work as well. I'm going to show you the full process of how to set this up, how to set up the BIOS files, how to go ahead and download and set up ROMs and get this working as well as possible on an Apple Silicon Mac. So what I'm going to do is leave a link in the description for the Melon DS website. And then once we're here, we're going to press the downloads button and we're going to go and scroll down and see the latest version of the software. So the link that we want is this one here, macOS Universal, and we're going to press allow. And this is basically going to download the latest version of the Melon DS emulator. You can also see this on the source code. If you look at releases, you can see that this is 0.9.5, which is the latest at the time of recording. You can also grab the Mac version from here as well. But the one from the website is going to download the 0.9.5 version as well. And we're going to minimize this and then go to the Finder window. Under Finder, we're going to see the Melon DS DMG file, which we're going to double click on. And then here we're going to drag and drop Melon DS into the Applications folder. And once that's installed, we're going to go to Applications. And then we're going to go and scroll down and find Melon DS and then double click on it. So if it gives you an error message, then make sure to hold the control key and then click on Melon DS and then press the open button here and that's going to bypass the error message. And now Melon DS has been launched. What we're going to do is to configure this now. So we're going to go to Melon DS on the top left, go to settings, and then we need to configure the settings here. So we need to make sure we have the BIOS files available. So in order to emulate Nintendo DS games, we need to extract our BIOS using something like a flashcard, or often you can find these online as well. So I'm going to select use external BIOS firmware files. I'm going to direct them to my DS BIOS here, click browse. And Melon DS is asking for permissions. I'm going to go and navigate to my BIOSes. So the first file is called BIOS9.bin. So press open here and it's going to link to that file. Then we're going to link the ARM7 BIOS. So this is the same deal. We're going to link the BIOS7.bin here, press open. And then we need the DS firmware. And this file is called firmware.bin. So make sure we either extract them or find them on the internet and then press open. So now the BIOS files are integrated here. We also have separate DSi ARM BIOSes. So these are going to be relevant if you are trying to load up a DSi game. But that's all we need to do in terms of setup for the emulator. Then we're going to press OK. Next one we need to do is to open up a game. So I'm not going to show you either where to get games from, but it's pretty straightforward. You can find games pretty easily by Googling the name of the game with the acronym NDS. And and then the word ROM, and then you can find them quite easily. So you want these NDS files. And here what I'm going to do is to load up the ROM for new Super Mario Bros. NDS. Press open, press OK for permissions. Now the game has loaded up. So the next thing we need to do is to configure our input settings. I have the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller currently paired onto my laptop. If you go to the Bluetooth settings, make sure to put this into pairing mode and then connect it up to your Mac first. So this is a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. Each controller is going to be pairing slightly differently on a Mac. However, to put this in the pairing mode, we just hold down this button here and then hold down the home button until this starts to flash. So you can see the LED here has started to flash here. And then on the Mac side, you can see here, there is a DualSense wireless controller appearing under nearby devices. Press the connect button. And this is now connected up. You can see here that the DualSense LED has turned a solid blue light. So that means it's all paired up and ready to go. But basically this has automatically detected that I have a PS5 controller paired to the Mac. And basically what I want to do is to go through all of the buttons by clicking on them and then clicking on the corresponding button on the PS5 controller. And then we're going to fully bind all of the keys. So once all of the keys are bound, we're going to press OK. And basically we're nearly ready to go. The last thing is that we're going to be configuring the video settings because this window is a little bit small. What we want to do is to increase the size of the window and increase the graphical fidelity. So here I'm going to select OpenGL as the video renderer, and that's going to allow us to unlock different internal resolutions. So ideally we want something close to 1080p. I'm going to go for, let's say, eight times native resolution, and then we're going to press OK. And now I'm going to full screen this. So I think the screen layout that makes sense is horizontal and then having the screen sizing emphasizing the top. So it basically means that the top is this big window on the left here. And then we have a little smaller window for the touch screen on the bottom. So basically just going to show you that we can actually run a game using the controller. I'm going to start a new game here and go ahead and play Super Mario Bros. So as you can see, new Super Mario Bros works great on Melon DS on a Mac. So we're actually locked to 30 frames per second, but it's working pretty much as expected and works very well using the controller.
Other games are going to work fine too. So here is Pokemon Black and White and this is all rendering correctly and I don't expect any issues with any other game that you throw at Melon DS2. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.